Australia's Prime Minister has raised the war in Ukraine during a virtual summit with his Indian counterpart. India has so far declined to join its Western allies in sanctioning or condemning Russia. Both nations are founding members of the Quad Security Partnership, along with Japan and the U.S. Well, despite the issue being raised, Narendra Modi declined to address the conflict in his comments after the meeting. Australia and India have strengthened ties in recent years. The first India-Australia virtual summit was held in June 2020 when the relationship was elevated to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Today's talks included enhanced cooperation across a range of sectors from trade to education as well as critical minerals. Our meeting today is of course set against a very distressing backdrop of the war in Europe which must never happen in our own region and I very much want to thank you for the partnership that we have while we are obviously distressed at the terrible situation in Europe um, our focus of course is always very much on what is occurring in the Indo-Pacific and ensuring that those events uh, could never occur here in the Indo-Pacific. Rebecca Bannon joins us live from Mumbai now. Uh, Rebecca, local media reports uh, the largest ever trade pact with Australia is in the works. Uh, what has materialised? Well, goods and services trade between India and Australia stood at some $24 billion in 2020. So it's definitely agreed that there's significant scope for growth. And despite the differing stances uh, between India and Australia in terms of the Ukraine situation and Russia's invasion of Ukraine, uh, it, it very much is, is very evident that the two sides both really want to advance their economic and trade and investment uh, relations. And that's clearly what happened today during this, this virtual summit. Several areas uh, were discussed in terms of the economic cooperation, uh, including a memorandum of understanding being signed on the critical mineral sector. Now, that's significant for India. India says what it can do is it can engage in joint investments in Australia, in the mining sector, uh, which is important for its own uh, manufacturing industry. It can also uh, learn from Australia's expertise in critical minerals as well. So that's an important development. Other sectors of cooperation as well that were discussed uh, and are important to the two countries include uh, clean energy, clean energy and um, uh, space cooperation as well. So there are a number of areas that the two sides are looking at. Uh, significantly as well, uh, it's hoped and it's believed uh, that the two sides would have made some uh, progress in terms of the interim uh, trade deal, which is an early harvest uh, trade deal or mini trade deal that the two sides are looking at ahead of a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement. Um, the Indian government, the foreign ministry, following the virtual summit, uh, did say that there has been uh, some kind of progress on that front towards the, the, the uh, comprehensive economic co cooperation uh, agreement. That would be significant in terms of really boosting that trade and investment relation relationship and also uh, reducing the dependence on China as well, with both India and Australia having experienced trade fi friction with China. Uh, Rebecca, the Australian Prime Minister has uh, also, <coughs> excuse me, pressed India on its position on the war in Ukraine. Uh, does India's refusal to condemn Russia have implications for trade ties? Well, from today's virtual summit and the comments that we've seen coming through and the fact that um, both sides seem to be so, so positive uh, so far, it seems that they still really want to advance uh, that economic uh, relationship. The, the trade and investment relationship is very important um, to, to both countries, particularly as they are emerging from the economic impact of uh, the, the pandemic. Um, but it has to be noted that Scott Morrison, in his comments, uh, his public comments uh, ahead of the, the virtual summit, he did uh, talk about uh, Russia needing to be held to account for its actions. And clearly, India has uh, avoided condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And this is a controversial issue, especially given the fact that all of those quad or other Quad nations have uh, condemned uh, Russia's attacks. However, they do seem to still be advancing with this uh, economic relationship. And uh, following that virtual summit in the, the foreign ministry briefing that took place, uh, the, the foreign secretary uh, talked about uh, Mr. Morrison and Australia actually having some kind of 
understanding of India's position. Now, from India's perspective, uh, it's concerned because it has a strong relationship with Russia. It's very dependent, it's highly dependent on Russia in terms of its defence equipment that comes from that country. Uh, and also, increasingly, it's looking at uh, getting a cheaper oil from Russia. So India has its own economic concerns. Well, thanks for that, Rebecca Bundin there in Mumbai.